Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review of the Amo Countertop Air Fryer Oven and Dehydrator. You'll receive the Air Fryer Oven, two mesh trays, drip pan, rotisserie bar and forks, rotisserie basket, two rack plates and eight skewers, metal handle, an instruction manual, and recipe book. This is the Air Fryer Oven. It measures 15 inches wide, 13 and a half inches deep, and 15 inches tall. The housing is made of a lightweight, heat-resistant plastic with a glossy finish. The power cord is 3 feet long, and there are 4 rubber suction cup feet on the bottom that'll keep the unit firmly planted on a smooth countertop. So if you do try to move it, just be aware that the feet may pop off because they stick on pretty well. The unit weighs just under 17 pounds when empty. On the front of the unit, you've got the touch control panel along the top, and a double-walled insulated tempered glass interior door. The handle on the front is stainless steel. And note that in order to open the door flat, the oven needs to be placed close enough to the edge of your countertop so that the handle will hang over the edge. If your unit sits back too far on the counter, the handle will hit the surface, which may damage it, and this also prevents you from opening the door all the way. The interior of the air fryer is all stainless steel and the heating element is located at the top with the fan behind it. All the accessories are made from food grade stainless steel, except for the drip pan which has a black non-stick coating on it. After plugging the unit in, the control panel stays lit while in standby mode. Touch the power button to wake the machine up. I like that the LEDs are bright and easy to read. Next, touch the settings you want to use. On the left is the temperature adjustment which changes in 5 degree Fahrenheit increments up or down. To change the settings more rapidly, quickly tap and hold the arrow keys. The temperature range is 90 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and it cannot display Celsius. On the right, you can adjust the time in 1 minute increments from 1 minute to 1 hour, or up to 24 hours in dehydrator mode up to 170 degrees. There are also 8 preset modes that you can choose to help you find a starting point for the time and temperature to use for each food. These are french fries, steaks and chops, fish, shrimp, chicken, baking, rotisserie, and dehydrator modes. The light bulb icon turns the light on inside the oven. The turning arrows toggles on the rotisserie function. And the power button starts and stops cooking. When the unit is running, you will see dots move along the center of the control panel. Be sure to wash all the accessories including the rack before first use. The capacity inside the oven is 17 quarts. That's large enough to air fry a whole chicken on the rotisserie. The default preset for rotisserie is 30 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Though I found that to adequately cook a 5 pound chicken through to a safe temperature, you'll need at least 1 hour. When removing rotisserie accessories, use the included metal handle to remove the right side first, then slide the left side out. And the results are fantastic. Being a toaster oven, you can make toast in this unit by placing them on the mesh trays. If you want them evenly brown, you'll have to flip the bread halfway through. I do wish that this had come with a solid pan for baking wet or sticky foods, which don't always hold up in the mesh trays, but you can use any other oven pan that you own as long as it fits in the 10x10x12 interior. The unit does take several minutes to preheat to your selected temperature. So be sure to account for this when choosing your cook time, because the unit starts counting down right away when you hit start. Let's make one of my favorite fried foods, tater tots, in the rotisserie basket. Now, these are frozen, and I'll put them in the basket straight from the freezer. I'll only fill the basket about halfway so that they'll have room to move around and allow the hot air to circulate. When closing the door, ensure that it snaps into the latch. To load any of the rotisserie accessories, insert the long end of the rotisserie bar into the hole on the left side of the oven first. 
Then align the small notch on the right hand side of the bar with the bracket and drop the bar into it. Let's power the unit on, tap fries, activate rotisserie, and start the preset with the default, 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You can adjust the time and temperature at any time before or during cooking. Since the basket is constantly turning, you won't have to shake or turn your food for it to heat, cook, and crisp evenly. When the timer runs out, the unit will beep and shut off. It does continue to operate the fan for about 30 seconds to cool down slightly. To open the basket, simply pull up on the spring tab. Remember, the basket will be hot, so use heat-proof gloves or mitts to open it. These tater tots came out perfect, golden, heated through, and crisp on the outside. If you prefer a harder crunch, just cook them for longer. I also like using the rotisserie basket for making lightweight and delicate foods like kale chips and roasted pumpkin seeds. The basket fully contains the food so that they can't float or blow into the heating element and burn. I've got my oven preheated now, and when the door is open, it pauses cooking. And resumes right away when the door is closed. These kale leaves shrunk a lot after cooking, but they are dry and crisp all around. This air fryer oven makes it so easy to make this tasty, healthy snack. I also tried making cupcakes in the air fryer on the default baking setting. Note that some foods tend to cook faster in the air fryer because it rapidly circulates the air inside the unit, so make sure to adjust the time for your recipe accordingly. After reducing the bake time by a couple minutes, these cupcakes came out great. To use the skewers for the kebabs, assemble the rack plates on the rotisserie bar by inserting it into the hole in the middle of each plate. Then tighten down the thumb screws on the outsides. Note that only one set of thumb screws are included with the air fryer. And when switching rotisserie accessories, you need to remove and reuse them for each one. To attach the skewers, the pointy end of the skewer goes into the hole on one side of the plates and the rounded side twists and locks into place on the other end. Make sure that the rotisserie function is flashing on the screen to ensure that it is turning. To remove the skewers from the rack, grasp the round end and turn it to release. Just remember that your food may lose more moisture and be drier than you're used to. And while this makes for crispier fried foods, it's not ideal for every recipe. So if you're baking and you want to keep foods moist, be sure to cover them in foil. These kebabs came out delicious though, and it was just like roasting them on the grill. One final tip, if you're using the dehydrator function for lightweight foods like dried herbs, use one of the mesh racks over top of the food as a guard to keep it from blowing up into the heating element and burning. As for cleanup, it's a cinch, and even all this grease from rotisserie chicken comes right off. Just wipe down with a damp cloth. Overall, I'm really happy with this air fryer. It cooks food fast, bakes, toasts, roasts, and even dehydrates. While I feel other accessories could have been included, like extra sets of thumb screws for each rotisserie tool and a solid pan, all in all, you'll receive everything you need in the box to get started cooking, including a full color recipe book to give you some ideas what to make in it. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.